Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch and welcome back to Argama Witch's Magical Salon, Magical v Salon. I'm gonna figure out what it's gonna be called eventually by the time I'm done with all these tutorials. Anyways, today's tutorial, because I was um, asked a while ago about doing some more African American style hair uh, cuts or styles. Man, I am, I am nailing this already. Uh, I had googled online some styles and uh, for this one I saw a lot where it was um, it's like corn, corn rolls I think it's called I don't what it like on whatever it's called dread, dreadlocks maybe I don't know is this where you have really tight braids on the scalp and uh, they go back into um, extensions or uh, just natural braids and uh, there's two different styles that I'm doing today with this. Uh, they're both gonna have the same base, so we're gonna kind of run with that. So yeah, what I'm going to do here is make a lot of strands of hair. I'm going to turn off the free hand rope lower this down and I'm gonna start down the center and I'm following the line in the center uh, and this is where the first row is you can actually probably make these smaller and you can actually do a bunch of them I'm only gonna do about like five or so it's just it's very time-consuming um, and we're gonna keep going until about halfway down the head Mm. A little more. Yeah, I guess right about there. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I turned the mirror mode on in case you didn't see me do that. And now I'm doing the ones on the side. Now I'm gonna let you know right now. Um, doing this, uh, Vera did not like doing it this often. That I constantly had to keep correcting it. Um, so you're gonna just see me speed by this, or else it'll be fucking forever. Right, I'm gonna do some around here. Do 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 do. Yeah, you see me constantly adjusting it. It just did not like me making this. I actually made seven. I thought I made five. Um, but yeah, it, it just it got weird after a while. But you're making dozens of little hair. All right. Um, it's a little like I don't know. It's a little like floaty. I want to kind of get this more closer to the scalp. I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit, and then I'm gonna kind of like pull in the offset. I want it like closer. Yeah. Alright. Um. I'm also going to do these other little strips down the center. And this is, and they're going to be twisted, but this is based off of a particular hairstyle I saw in which they had these braids and then they had like these really tight I don't know what it was. It didn't look like braids, um, but it kind of looked like like little twists. Or maybe it was braids, but maybe it was a different style of braid. Maybe it was like a Barbie twist or whatever. Um, but they had some of those in this particular hairstyle that I'm, I'm trying to mimic. Uh, so I added these in here. They also help fill in some of the space. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. Thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Mm. Gonna add uh, a little bit more. Wait right here. So adjust that down. And we'll twist that up a little bit. Same with this. Oh, uh, yeah. But as you can see, there's a lot of different hair strands. This one was a little bit of a pain in the ass. In fact, this isn't the longest tutorial of the hair ones I've done. 
Uh, and that's even with speeding up some sections of it. All right, so like the base hair is not gonna work for this, which is a problem. We're gonna have to draw some stuff in later, but for right now, um, we're gonna work on like the part uh, one of this hair. So this is gonna be in like two parts because there's two different ways of doing it. All right, so I uh, mimic the, or I uh, use the freehand group as a reference. And what I want to do is kind of straighten this back out because it's going to make the those braids go straight down. And uh, yeah, just like what we did before, we're going to do the whole thing straight down here. Now, normally you can just keep doing it if this is what you want, but since I wanted to do two different um, hairstyles, uh, that had the same start, uh, I kind of like cut it a little bit. You can see I'm having problems with that, like the braid thing again. You just kind of got to go slow. I found that when you took paused briefly, it would help it like fix whatever. Um, yeah, let me just kind of add these in here. And then just get the, uh, little one. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. This is kind of just like the basic braid. And I have this one uh, with the part two in, in the description below if you, you um, are interested in it. It's on my booth. Um, it does not come with the skin texture, which I'm going to uh, sort of draw in. It's kind of half assed because normally I take it out of the program. But I wanted to show you, like, what to what what it what you what you can do also in order to make these look more like extensions i'm just going to color in like the bottom half like that yeah we'll just stick them make all these black and it's like do 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 yeah i think that looks, looks fine um actually i want to be able to see some more of the like black on these right here so i'm going to get the down a little bit do do you need to just select and switch between the two colors. Bam. 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 Yeah, and you can see it like change its colors. So this is kind of like a, an extension or whatever. Um, now we're gonna have to add some texture because what this is is the hair like pulled really taut, and that's something that. Uh, we kind of need to do is to make it look like the hair is pretty taut. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of doing like these like it still look like hairs that have been pulled tightly. Um, And I'm gonna try to like darken like the scalp a little bit. Just to kind of like mimic. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it would look a little better if it was a little darker to kind of like. Just uh. Trying to fake it down a little bit. And let me do this over to the back side too. Just imagine how long this took me without speeding through. Also, this is definitely not my best quality, like, um, texturing. But it's just kind of to sort of give you an idea of what I was doing and, uh, what you can do. Um, which is also why this still wasn't included in the hair preset. Mm 
kind of just darkening it in to kind of like hide some stuff. Yeah, and just kind of try to match it up and fix it a little bit. I mean, it was pretty much the same color, but this will is the actual color. So I'm just recoloring it back in. And it's plain much of edges, you know. I'll lower the opacity. Because there's rest. Normally you'd kind of want those edges to kind of like whatever but you get the general idea of what I'm I was trying to do here um so this is a lot of layers right it's a crazy amount of layers uh, and then when you want to bone it you're gonna have to grab like each group so I have it like a little bit of the previous group and then like all the way down and you just gotta grab each hair individual like all these different strands and then just do like a new bone group uh, again if you have any questions feel free to ask them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them uh, please keep in mind though that I get a lot of questions and if I tend to get too many redundancy ones I sort of bypass answering them because I don't really have time to answer every question anymore because I get so many um, but it also might take me a few days to a few weeks to get to a question just because I don't see them or YouTube likes to just give me, like, show me random questions that are asked in the comments. But I do try to get back to them all. And here I'm just going to bone those just so you can see what it looks like when they're all, like... Um, you know, with all the bones and the colliders in and how they all move together in one unit. Bam. Okay. And bam. Yep. I'm gonna go over camera and we can see uh, how they move when she walks or uh, runs. There's this little flop 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 flop. Or like her just wiggling around, you kind of just see them flip flopping. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, <clears throat> now let's um, do the other one, the other style, which is a little different, similar but different. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that lower half. Um, this is part two, hairstyle part two. Um, I, part of me was tempted to make this its own tutorial, but I was just like, nah. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a procedural group and I'm going to uh, move it to where these strands are. I'm gonna like flay it, I guess. Is that the word that I'd want here? F flay the hair out. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna spread it out to about there, about the width of where all these uh, dreadlocks, braids go. We're gonna call them braids because I don't know what they're called. Where all these braids go, um, 
And then I'm gonna switch up the thicknesses on this. And I'm gonna give it like twists. And let's pull the hairline down though. Alright. Uh so I want the hairline to be about where these braids stop. Right about there, I guess. Um, this is too many. Let's pull it down a little bit. Alright, I don't know how like I don't want to do this one. I want these to kind of look like they're coming from that hair there. I'm going to poof this out a little bit. And uh, adjusting the tip curliness. It was a little longer down on the back. And I kind of pull this close to the neck. Uh, lower the thickness a little bit. Pull this in. Yeah, kind of like that. Alright. We're gonna clone this. So we have all of this already here. And then we're just gonna like bump it out a little bit. Pull it out a little bit, bump it out. We gotta bump it, bump it. Uh, change the hair numbers down and the intervals. Pull it in a bit more. in I guess. Yeah. Just pull it in right there. Mm, I'm gonna clone this again. Um, pull it out some more. Kind of Make a little shorter. Uh, lower the hair numbers again. Just so it's not like perfectly overlapping. And pull this into the scalp a bit. So this is supposed to look like is that uh, the hair became unbraided and became like was poofed out into almost like Whatever this would be, a quarter afro, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I just remember seeing it and I was like, that's really cool looking, I like it. And since I was doing the other one, I was like, I might as well add this one in too! Uh, I think I want it a little thicker though. I kind of like the feet a bit more. Yeah, I guess that works. We're gonna add some bones into this. Um, I'm just gonna draw it all together into a big pile. Also, again, questions down below. Um, if this video has helped you and you like it, then please give it a like. Uh, and be sure to subscribe because I love you and the only way that I'll see you is if you come back to my videos and I only know that you've done that if you subscribe so that way you can buy that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope this has helped you out, and I'll see you next time I do a video. Okay, bye. Also, I have memberships. Become a member. Help support the channel and support me. Emotes and shit, yeah. Okay, bye.